Welcome back to yet another edition of our Core Chronicles. I am Okert Loebscher, co-founder of Core Blockchain and the Core Ecosystem. There's much to talk about this week, so I won't be bothering you with expansive introductions. So, let's start this week off with a gentle reminder that the Early Adopter NFT Stage 2 is soon coming to a close. More specifically, the deadline was set to the 27th of March, 2024, at 23.59 UTC. So you might be wondering, who is eligible for the Early Adopter NFT rewards? Only those of you who've completed Stage 1 in the CorePass application are eligible for campaign completion on Ping Exchange. If you're one of those users, please ensure that you have completed the following steps so that you can claim your tokens. Log into the Ping Exchange and register your account to unlock trading. Verify the same email address that you have used to receive the QR code for claiming your early adopter NFT in stage one. On Ping Exchange, deposit either BTC, LTC, ETH, or USDC to a minimum value of $250. Then perform at least two trades with a minimum value of $100 on either core coin or core token market. The rewards will be distributed in the following manner. The early adopter NFT will be distributed to the participant's core pass ID application, whereas core token rewards will be distributed to the eligible people who have completed the tasks ping exchange accounts. The exact date and time of uh, distribution will be announced after stage two has been concluded. Next up, let's talk about the Vega NFT. Once the early adopter NFT has been distributed, we will announce the process of the Vega NFT itself. After taking all regulations into account, we have come to the decision to unbundle the Vega NFT and will be releasing the physical assets that are backing the Vega NFT to the holders themselves. Let's move over to core token and core coin listings. Important strides have been made as core token and core coin have both been listed on coin gecko. This is a significant achievement as it not only enhances their visibility, but also provides our community with more data analytics, making trading decisions more informed, of course. But that's not all. We are currently working to get them listed on other prominent platforms, for example, CoinMarketCap um, and a few others as well. This reflects our commitment to ensuring our tokens are accessible and monitored for transparency and security. The progress is noticeable and we are confident that these steps will open up new avenues for growth and community engagement. Lastly, let's not forget about Ping. Ping Exchange is currently in the process of being listed on multiple platforms as well. This process will no doubt result in significant enhancements to, re uh, to the reach and utility of our services. While the listings are still underway, the anticipation is building and we promise to keep you updated with every milestone we achieve. We are also excited to announce the release of the XCB API data. This development makes key data such as circulating supply available on blockindex.net. With this release, any website can now integrate APIs to display the circulating supply and total supply of XCB, promoting greater transparency and utility across the entire 
ecosystem. Next up, let's discuss some important updates to Core Pass. Firstly, UI UX upgrades. First and foremost, we are rolling out an improved user experience for NFT usability. This enhancement is especially geared towards making KYC process seamless and intuitive. Automatic indication of document invalidation. Now, if a document becomes invalid, you'll be notified immediately within the CorePass app. This means there will be for sure less confusion and more clarity on the status of your documents. Easy replacement and invalidated documents. Replacing an invalidated document is now more straightforward. This reduces the hassle and time spent managing invalidated documents within the CorePass app. Next up is enhancements for email and phone NFT rejections. We've improved the user experience in scenarios of excessive retries for email and phone NFT verifications. This aims to reduce transactions and streamline the verification process. Better handling of temporary rejections in KYC verifications. We've refined the process for temporary rejections in KYC verifications to provide clearer guidance and support, all along ensuring you understand the next steps which you need to take. On the technical side of CorePass, we've made the following improvements. KYC document image handling. We fixed some bugs related to the handling of large images for KYC documents, enhancing the smoothness and reliability of the submission process itself. Backend improvements. Our backend has received significant upgrades leading to faster purchase finalizations, of course, of vouchers for XCB and CTN. Then support enhancements in the core pass. We've made improvements on the support side, ensuring faster response times and actions from our support team. We understand the importance of timely assistance and we are committed to providing excellent service, of course, to you, our community. So in tandem with the updates to Core Pass, here are some of the most important improvements we've made to Ping Exchange. User experience improvements. We've added visible user order indicators in the order book and introduced a confirmation model for market orders improving clarity and control over your trades. Order book and market order enhancements. Changes have been made to the depth of the order book and the processing of market orders itself. This ensures a smoother and much more reliable trading experience. API integration progress. We're enhancing connectivity and refining our market APIs in preparation for listings on platforms like CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap itself. KYC and user interface fixes. We improved the KYC process with a new nationality field, fixed various UI issues, especially on specific mobile devices, and enhanced the accuracy of data in the order book and trends section. Lastly, here are some of the technical improvements we've made in Ping Exchange. Fixes have been implemented to sort issues in the admin area, load stalls on large market orders, and of course, order book calculations. Next up is the new platform that we released, Pigeon. Pigeon is a specialized software crafted for the core blockchain network aimed at improving transaction efficiency and scalability. It introduces several key features to streamline the actual blockchain experience. Key features of Pigeon software. Batch processing. 
This allows multiple transactions to be grouped together. Something like sending a bulk of letters in one package, significantly speeding up the overall process itself. Then there is offline transaction signing. This enhances security by permitting transactions to be signed without an internet connection. This, of course, keeps private keys secure and undisclosed. Online transaction streaming. After signing transactions, uh, after signing, transactions are efficiently broadcasted to the core blockchain network, enabling smooth and seamless processing. Customizable operations. Pigeon provides various customization options, allowing users to tailor their transactions, uh, transaction processes based on the specific needs such as speed and transaction fees. The significance of Pigeon security. Offline signing ensures proper protection of users' private information, falling in line with Core's blockchain-wide focus specifically on safety and security. On the efficiency side, batch processing facilitates quicker and potentially cheaper transaction submissions. Scalability. This enhances the core blockchain's ability to handle more transactions, supporting broader use cases. So with that said, in conclusion, Pigeon serves as a robust tool for users and developers involved in the core blockchain, offering a more streamlined, secure, and flexible approach to managing their transactions. By integrating features like batch processing and customizable operations, it simplifies the transaction process while maintaining high security and scalability standards. Next up, and moving on, I'm thrilled to share some developments regarding Heyo. Woohoo! Our innovative decentralized communication solution. So, Heyo is setting a new standard for decentralization. We've transformed every device into a communication node, enabling peer to peer connectivity without centralized dependencies. This breakthrough ensures that devices can truly have direct interactions. Moreover, we've successfully implemented P2P and group calling features, enhancing the way you connect with others. Moreover, we're on the cusp of introducing node history for messaging maintaining our commitment to peer-to-peer -peer and decentralized communication. Our technology strides uh, don't stop there. By developing decentralized storage solutions, we're moving towards a future where devices operate fully independently. Currently, Heyo is in the initial testing phase. While there's still a journey ahead to achieve full stability, our team is dedicated and working tirelessly to refine and enhance the application before any open release or testing release or something like that. Next up, let's welcome the newest AI additions to our project. As you guys asked about AI, we've developed three distinct AI models, each designed to enhance our services and, of course, your experience. First up, we have developed a RAG system, Retrieval Augmented Generation Model. This AI is a game changer, enabling contextual inquiries across platforms like YouTube, Medium, and Ping Explore. It utilizes the collective knowledge embedded within these platforms to provide informed and precise responses. We have a support AI model. Our second model represents a leap in customer support efficiency. We have fine-tuned and pre-trained an AI model, which greatly enhances our response uh, quality and speed, which will be released soon. 
Arax AI Assistant Model. The third edition is our specialized AI model, which utilizes Arax knowledge for the RAG system. Similar in technology to the first, but distinct in execution. This model provides answers solely based on Arax data, ensuring relevance. Additionally, we've developed another model dedicated to analyzing similarities with infrequently asked questions. This AI clusters FAQs to identify common topics, enabling us to understand your concerns better and address your interests more efficiently. We've condensed this information into a comprehensive report that double checks the information with the given content on YouTube Medium and Ping Explore itself. Additionally, we plan to introduce the pre-trained YLEM smart contract development feature on the Core Blockchain website. This is super exciting. This innovative tool uses artificial intelligence to assist users in creating their own YLEM smart contracts. Whether you're looking to develop from scratch or port an existing smart contract, our AI will guide you through the process, making smart contract development more accessible and efficient than ever before. In tandem, we're actively testing our pre-trained models within the Arax Assistant. This initiative aims to enhance user experience by providing AI-driven support and insights, making navigation and problem solving within the Arax ecosystem smoother and more intuitive. Last but not least, it serves to mention that if you're running into any issues, which we hope you don't, with any of our services, the best way to get it resolved is to write to our support departments. We understand and appreciate your eagerness and excitement about the project, but anything you're, you are resolving through other community members will ultimately go through support itself. Or as they say, all roads lead to support. The team usually responds within 24 hours, uh, except when they're dealing with complex cases or a higher number of new tickets. So to reiterate, please do not hesitate to reach out to them and get your issues resolved through the proper channels. With that being said, that's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed this Crawl Chronicle. Please stay safe, keep on hodling, and stay tuned for more updates next week. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and please help us grow the community. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of the Core Chronicles.